How do you decide whether to cooperate or not? Why do you share that orange instead of eating it all by yourself? There's a mathematical explanation for this. If you cooperate, I cooperate. If you betray me, then I betray you. It's roughly this strategy that's what's called tit, tit for tat. But what's tit for tat got to do with understanding social behavior? Tit for tat and social behavior. Let me first give you a thought experiment. Imagine you and your buddy are arrested because you work together to rob oranges and mandarins. You each are put into separate rooms, and because the prosecutor isn't sure if you did it or not, you are asked to give more information. The prosecutor says that if you both give information about your partner, therefore betraying each other, your sentence will both be two years. If you both don't say anything, you both get a one-year sentence. If you don't say anything because you want to save your buddy, but your buddy tells on you, then you get a three-year sentence and your buddy gets zero. And vice versa. What does this all mean? So here's the table with all the information. B for betraying and C for cooperating. If you look at your icon at the top and choose to cooperate, then your sentence will either be three years or one year, and so an average two years. If you decide to betray, then your sentence would either be two years or zero, and an average one year. So it seems like it's better to betray. But real life isn't one game. It's deciding over and over whether to cooperate or betray. Now imagine that you do this game infinitely many times. If you don't cooperate in the first round, then your buddy might betray you next. And what you get is an infinite betraying back, and thus infinite to your sentences. The best method in this case is what's called a different strategy, in which you cooperate in the first round, then for the next, keep on copying your buddy's actions from the round before. If your buddy betrays you, you betray back. If your buddy cooperates, you cooperate back. Just as a fun example, if you and your buddy both use tit for tat and cooperate in the first round, then you will cooperate infinitely and you get infinite one-year sentences. Tit for tatting is also seen in fish such as stickleback fish and guppies, so this strategy is not just for humans. Although not always perfect, this is a strategy we can use to survive. And we have seen one way of understanding social behavior, but social behavior is more complex than this.